Hi, Sagittarius. I hope you're all doing well. We're going to get into your general message and see what spirit wants to talk to you about today. These are timeless readings. So whenever you come across this message, it could be for you. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Andy. Most of the things flying around, I just saw something on the camera, are probably cat hair or dust or pet dander. I have seen some what I believe to be orbs, but when I see them, they like sparkle. It's kind of interesting. There's like a sparkle to them. Anyways, just thought I'd say that because a lot of people have been commenting lately about orbs. Someone asked if the, if it was a filter and I'm like, no, nah, I just kind of kind of dust my room, I think. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> let's get into the message and see what spirit has for you. Let's see. What energies are supporting Sagittarius at this time? Ooh, we have the Arbiter. Justice vibes. Assessing a situation. Finding balance with something. Let's see what else I'm, I'm seeing. Stu Steward, Sarah. Also, the, just the, the letters S-A-R-E could be significant. I'm hearing Stargate. Okay, let's see what is challenging you at this time. What is challenging Sagittarius? Angel. Hypocrite. with the inventor in reverse. Hmm, what's this now, Sag? Hold on, before I say anything, let me, let me get the rest of the cards out. going on here for Sagittarius spirit let's get let's get everything out on the table I feel like this is a message too. two 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 this is your energy as well let's get everything out on the table let's see everything for what it is here okay let's get a clear full picture okay looks like we're working with reversals today hmm interesting the hypocrite, right? There's something we need to straighten out here. Three more shuffles. Sagittarius or whoever else is here in this reading. What message do we have for their highest good, the highest good of all? What would be helpful? Ten of Wands at the bottom. Let's see. We have the Queen of Swords for the theme of the reading. Uh-oh. What is happening here? Um, let me hmm, let me sit, see for a second, okay? Something's um, not right. Okay, with the Queen of Swords in reverse as a theme of the reading, someone has been unkind, unjust, unfair, not truthful, hypocritical. And that's what's getting sorted out right now. And you are the one doing the sorting out, I feel or you will be. Your guides are also here in this reading as, as a force because I'm seeing your current energy is the Nine of Swords in reverse. 
this is pretty intense, okay? This is not a um, good feeling. <laughs> and so with that being your current energy that I'm picking up on, if this isn't your reading, check out your other placements and stuff because th this seems like a very particular message. But if you're feeling like you are definitely stressed out, can't figure something out, how could this even be like this? How could this person act like this? How could this go down like this? Why did this happen? You know, the, that kind of vibe and feeling or just some level of despair here. Then your guides are here with this justice arbiter assessing the situation. And it's very clear here energetically who is... I'm hearing the bad guy. Okay, the bad guy. Maybe this is, I don't know what this is about for everyone. So apply it however. But it's very clear on the energetic plane, on the astral plane, even for your higher self, your intuitively, that something is not right and somebody has acted out of turn here. Okay, and it's being seen for what it is. This is like, there's no two ways about it. The spirit sees, you see, this is no good. Okay. I don't know who this represents to you, but this is an energy that came off as somebody who maybe wanted to help you or somebody who, who gave some kind of vibe of innocence or there's something, I'm seeing the letter C, the letter V, the letter K, the letter S, the letter D. Uh, there's something about this person that seemed maybe, I'm hearing stoic, calm, uh, maybe enlightened at some level, or guided even. For some of you, this person could have, um, I'm hearing, been treading on your territory. Uh, maybe stealing some of your work or your ideas or, or something like that. The inventor in reverse. Someone here is not genuine, authentic, um, capable of doing what they said they could do or what they... It almost feels like somebody was hard on you, on riding your back, on your back about something, okay? Giving you a hard time. I'm hearing shaking you down, okay? Giving you some hard time or criticizing you even for something. Well, trying to say, put on a front like... I don't like this energy, <laughs> Sagittarius. I mean, I'm sure you don't either. Something about rain. Oh yeah, the storms, right? In our readings, we've had that a lot, Sagittarius. Let me get some more here because they're coming up, their energy, the outside energy affecting most is the five of cups in reverse. Like this is someone who has no remorse, no regret. This is somebody who's, I feel like they're ruthless with the queen of swords in reverse. There's something cold, calculating, ruthless hypocritical, pot calling the kettle black, like, but it's intentional. It's not that they're hypocritical and they don't know better. This is like, there's some, um, intentionality behind their actions. I don't see the cards of deception here though. It's, hmm. can we get further on this energy for Sagittarius? Knight of Swords in reverse. This is someone who's careless, careless, no regret, careless. They could have been accusing you of something. This is not right. I feel like this is being settled out karmically here now, and you need to know about it. Let's get uh, one of these cards for, for the theme of the reading. Can we get further onto the theme of the reading? For Sagittarius, I saw that. The Deceiver, I just said there's no cards of deception. And Spirit's like, well, here you go. <laughs> the Deceiver, okay. Well, that's pretty clear. Is that the only card that flipped? I think so. Okay, let's see. Um, 
This, uh, okay, hold on a second. We got this tarot card wanted to come up. Interesting. So this tarot card just got picked up as I was shuffling this deck. And initially it was in reverse. And when I picked it up and put it back down, I put it back down face up. So there's something about discovering some kind of deception or being very certain that somebody's been a hypocrite or a deceiver that turns things around for you, that gives you some clarity. Yeah, this reading I feel for those it's for and those who I'm connecting with, this reading <laughs> is going to get you to take some advice here from spirit or really consider the advice in a way that maybe you weren't considering. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> I'm not trying to my own horn, but I'm just seeing uh, something's changing in the middle of this reading as we're going. Okay, so let's see what's supporting Sagittarius. Dystopia in reverse. Yes, you see something as not... Look, you're not going to live in this dystopic situation with this deceiver, hypocrite, and whatever cultivated nonsense that they've brought forward to you or that they were trying to sell you with, they were trying to convince you with. It's like almost like the details don't really matter. What matters is the bigger picture of the situation. Somebody has tried to make you feel uncomfortable or wrong about the way you were approaching something. When in reality, that's their energy. And they know it. They know it. They're careless. Yeah, this person um, or people, whatever, they don't, they're not concerned about their karma or their spiritual path or anything like that. Okay, they're stuck in the matrix, 3D world. Like this is not, uh, I'm playing, um, I'm hearing playing hardball. Not playing fair too. Okay, your energy, this was an unexpected reading. I didn't, I was totally not, yeah, anyways. And I feel like maybe that's how you are too. You're like, whoa, now I really see this. Nine of swords in reverse for Sagittarius' overall energy. The tower in reverse. You did escape something. Three of swords at the bottom. Now, something has happened. A tower has happened in this situation. Um, but that said, I feel like it could have even gone worse. But it's like in the nick of time, you realize maybe now you realize that. What do you realize? The wheel that there's another cycle that you can change this cycle that you're in right now. You can get out of this. You don't need to be attached to this. That this is karma here, like this is unnecessary drama for some of you. I don't know. I'm getting something like the, this person's a loser. I don't, I don't know. Okay, whatever. I know. I know that doesn't sound very spiritual, but that's what I'm getting. All right. Maybe that's your ego mind projecting out here, but it's all good because I don't like this energy anyways. So whatever. <laughs> okay, let's see. Maybe, and maybe that's the attitude that you're taking on. Like, I, I don't like, I can't anymore with this. Okay. Count of staffs, king of wands in reverse for what you don't see coming. Look, there's some wrath, some anger that this person has, um, and they're going to be expressing it in some way. That's nothing to be fearful of, but it's like you see someone's true colors. This feels like such a karmic, like heavy karma reading, you know, those readings out there. <laughs> this feels like one of them, <laughs> you know, where they're talking about... I don't know. Anyways. All right. That's okay. It happens. Let's see. The weaver. Yes. This person has woven a web of deceit, lies, 
so like what's the bigger question here I don't want to get caught in the drama I'm sure Sag already knows all about the drama maybe this person wants to catch you in their web of drama right we need to like back up I feel and ask like what is the bigger message here what's at stake what's at stake for Sagittarius patience Patience for justice to be served. Patience for the right guidance to come through. Because the energy is thick. It's hot. It's heavy. It's like Mars. Uranus, I'm hearing. It's, it's like ex a little explosive. Reactive, maybe. You could be feeling reactive. And spirit saying you have to have patience. Can we get a little bit further about what's at stake? Yeah, let, let's get into high level Sag energy here, okay? What's at stake? Maybe that's what's at stake. The corn, some kind of abundance here. Let me look in the book for this, Sag. We have to be careful of energies that want to, I'm hearing, drag us through the mud. Corn represents the mother of sustenance and tangible abundance. This symbol represents material prosperity in the world of form that provides stability and sustenance to many. There is more than enough. Beware of shortcuts to your dreams or a fast track being offered to you now. Be especially mindful of your feelings of entitlement or an expectation to get something for nothing. This is a time for gratitude, perseverance, and humility. Be prepared to work toward your goals and plant the seeds of your intentions consciously and respectfully. Release any insecure thoughts of scarcity, feeling that there is not enough or worry that someone else could take what is yours. Know that the universe will always provide, but you must be in a relationship with it in order to receive. You will reap what you sow. Take heart, even if you didn't plant well and have conjured up the illusion of drought, there is always a new season to begin again. Yeah, Sag, I feel like whatever this is all about for you, it really is dragging you into a lower vibration, a lower frequency. Like the reading was starting to slip into that. Uh, yeah, the jester, trickster, trickster. It's a trickster energy that one wants to take you from high vibe, you know, spiritual ascension, working on yourself, beauty, magic in the universe, all those delicious things that are Sagittarius, you know, like higher levels of knowledge, all of this spiritual know-how. This energy is a trickster energy, a deceptive energy that wants to bring you down to the mundane level of some kind of drama. So we need to have a little bit of patience here with this message and we need to come back into alignment with the universe and so, so that we can receive. So that we can receive what is for our highest good. Because if we dip into this energy, whoever this is for you, or you know, maybe it's a bunch of people, I don't know. Whatever this is, we're going to reap what we sow, right? If we play with this energy, we engage with this energy, we indulge in this trickster energy, we get into the drama with this energy, that's what we're going to sow for ourselves, is more of that. And perhaps that's exactly what the trickster wants. Yeah, go ahead. Call me a loser. You know, see what karma comes. You know, like, you know what I mean? We, we don't need to be doing that and going to that level, right? Yeah. See, spirit always does things in a, for a reason. <laughs> All right. Thank you for getting us back on track there. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. This, this person, this situation isn't going to get you out of alignment if you don't let it. Okay. 
You're going to be able to see through something, someone's true intentions. Now with the angel card coming up, this could be someone posing as someone very spiritual, someone who maybe is connected to the divine or the most high or whatever, right? But there's something about this energy that gets you into the shadow, that gets you, and not in a good way, not like as in doing shadow work, but gets you like soaked into drama saying, you know, oh, we got to ascend, we got to leave the drama behind, etc. But then being a hypocrite and delivering nothing but drama to you. <laughs> Get what I'm saying? So yeah, and with no remorse, no regret, inventor, maybe just making things up. Ooh, okay, what are we talking about, Sag? You got, I feel like, you know, you are a highly spiritual sign. And so so-called spiritual attacks. And what I mean by that is like just people trying to plant seeds. That's it. It's either you, yeah, it's like you either water them or you don't. That's all it is. It's nothing to be scared of, right? It's like my cats, my Sag cat is growling right now. Wolfie. Yeah. See, it's a warning here. It's a warning. Be careful. You know, not spirituality has become an industry. So be careful of what, what you're taking in as truth. But I feel like you, you see the deception or it's being seen by spirit. Yeah, maybe you just need a reminder here. But anything that puts you in a state of chaos or drama or things like that or just feeling like out of sorts is probably not in alignment with you. I mean, sometimes things can do that, trigger us, and it can be for our benefit to do shadow work. Like that trigger point is what we need to do shadow work. But there's something about this message where it's not that. Now, if it's not about like something spiritual that you're around or connected to, then it could be a relationship or a workplace as well. But they're trying to get you out of your element, okay? They're trying to bring you down to their level. It's a very kind of scammy, conny vibe. Conny, I feel like that could be a name. Two, 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 right there. Okay, yes. See, look at this person writing this contract. This person has sealed their karmic fate. And I feel like they're trying to bring other people along with them down that path. So we need to get things right with the most high. We need to reconnect to our higher self here. Why you don't see this coming One second. Wolfgang. Wolfie. One second, Sag. Patrick, don't you dare. I'm watching. <laughs> don't you, Sag. The things that happened during this reading these readings. One second. I think I should go get them. What do you think? See, this is all symbolic. It's like Wolfgang the Sagittarius is growling at my other cat who's taunting him, you know, playing too rough with him. And he knows something's not right. He knows something's up and he's letting that, that my other cat know. And I'm over here witnessing this, watching this, assessing it, seeing it for what it is. And this is exactly your message, right? It's like spirit or your guides or whoever's watching over you is seeing this for what it is. Now, I think it's interesting where I just said, should I go and get him? Should I go and save him? I feel like this is also a question in the spirit realms. It's like, do we need to scoop in and get Sag and, you know, do something here? Or can Sag handle it themselves? And I feel like you're going to be able to handle it yourself. All right? Let's move on from, from this. Let's keep going. The cats can pick up on energy too, right? So they're manifesting. They're like, yeah, anyways, their behavior is a manifestation of the energy that I'm picking up on as well. Okay, so it's confirmation. A uh, knight of wands in reverse for the opportunity. Get the heck 
out of here. Get the heck out of this. See, it's like somebody playing you a song, lulling you to sleep. Got multiple ways they want to do this. No. Knight of Wands, get out of there. Can't, I'm hearing cancel your subscription. I don't know what that's about for everyone. Okay. <laughs> but it's probably a metaphor. Like there's something you've been subscribing to. Maybe it's an ideology. Maybe. I don't know. But there's something you've been subscribing to that just is not right. Not serving you. Has ulterior motives. Seven of Swords. Yeah. I'm asking if it's worth you calling this out in some way. I feel like it's up to you, okay, because I'm getting the Four of Swords and this and the Seven of Wands, which is not calling it out, calling it out. Or this could be defending your peace. Uh, but I feel like that's a message. Whatever you feel like protects your peace in this situation, whether that's calling it out or not, that's the right move for you. But your advice overall, or the opportunity, I should say, overall, is to see that this, whoever this is, is just fanning the flames, getting people to be in a state of chaos. There's kind of even like a, like a gang mentality. Like there's a, it feels like somebody's ganging up. I don't know. It's <clears throat> no bueno. And so, I mean, we see it, right? We see it for what it is. And we know, now we know energetically why they're trying to get you off your path. So your advice is the Ace of Pentacles. As soon as you divert your attention from this or don't give this thing energy anymore, whatever this is, whether that's your money, your time, your heart, whatever for you. Like you see another opportunity. And I'm hearing you see the real thing. You see the real thing. Queen of Wands. You see the real thing. The real help. The real... Um, services I'm hearing or person or people who are who are genuine okay there's an opportunity here also to help others can I get more for advice for Sagittarius the lovers three of swords justice again be very conscious of the decisions you make in regards to this from now on. Be very conscious. If this is someone that you are um, has some business relationship with, be very conscious of the transactions or, or you know, like the agreements that you make. Really think about what this does to your energy. How does engaging in this affect your energy? Does it make you feel more empowered or does it make you feel disempowered? I'm hearing sirens. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. <laughs> how this is going to end, interesting, the outcome is the two of coins now showing up in the upright, which I'm so happy to see because in the reverse, this would mean to me like things are just out of sorts. They don't make sense. Everything's like chaotic. In the upright, this is still things are up in the air here. But look at this card. He's going down a path. It's like the fool almost. He has his little satchel taking a new path. And he's got his hand up like, nope, you can't go this way with me. So there's still something that's unsure here in the next three months in regards to this situation. But 
you do decide to go in a new direction while saying no to something. So can we get a little bit further about what's unsure? What's uncertain here in relation to this in the next few months? The star, the ten of swords, the ace of cups. Oh, there's so many cards. Hold on. Seven of coins, patience, five of swords. Okay, this person's going to be revealing themselves. It's like, you know how they say um, narcissists tell on themselves? Like, or I guess you don't have to be a narcissist, but just like, liars <laughs> they they end up telling on themselves okay by their actions or maybe even the accusations they make towards other people is like really just what they're doing it's like this person tells on themselves yeah page of swords five of swords you see something here okay and i also feel like this person gets emotional over something which does which seems out of character it's like yeah there's some kind of emotion this person expresses and it's like huh it does like something doesn't fit. This is gets revealed. And it might get revealed to more than one person as well. There is an ending here. A victory and an ending. This looks like a victory to me. Um, and it's it's destined and will help heal something here for you and give you new light, new new energy, new love. Whoa, Sagittarius. Interesting reading. Let me know how it resonates if you feel comfortable. I'd be curious to know. I am going to go into an extended. In the extended, we go a layer deeper. I'm definitely ready for that. Uh, but if you don't want to come to that or you can't for whatever reason, trust that you received all the information that you need. The link for the extended is in the description box below. I love you so much. You got this and I'll see you next time.